Hey everyone, this is Dave and it's a Thursday, which is kind of interesting because usually Calvin brings the Devo every Thursday and I'm every Monday, but we're switching. I asked Calvin if we could switch so I could uh, basically take the Monday mornings off and, and just relax with my wife because Sundays I just kind of give it all preaching and ministering. I just need Mondays. I'm kind of out of it. Anyways, uh, so you're going to see me on Thursdays and Calvin on Monday. And so last night I asked my wife, uh, hey, what should I speak on for the Devo? She said, speak on joy. And she said so simply because <clears throat> we're doing the Christmas Advent at River of Life, and actually Ann and I are doing it. And this week is joy. It's the joy of that little baby Jesus that he brought into uh, this world and my, my life, my wife's life, and hopefully your life. So I want to speak on joy. And Ann and I are also going through chapter by chapter, one chapter a day, the Gospel of Luke. And so there's 24 chapters, and so you start December 1st by Christmas Eve, and you're on your last chapter, and it's really cool. Well, today's December 10th, so I read the 10th chapter, and it's really all about joy. But here's my idea. Joy comes with obedience. Joy comes with obedience. And sometimes that's tough. Uh, for example, in, in uh, Luke chapter 10, we see Jesus gathering 72 of his followers, not just the 12, but 72, and empowering them to go out and share the good news. And he says this, and I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves, like lambs among wolves. So this is not going to be easy, right? And sometimes God asks us to do stuff that's not easy. But here they come back, and it says this, The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submitted to us and in your name. And see, joy comes with obedience. You know, just yesterday I met with a, a friend of mine, and he had a lot of joy on his face. And I was wondering why, because actually he lost his job in early September. And after listening to him, basically, uh, God has put him through the ringer, if you would, to kind of form him into the image of his son. And he's been obedient. And he had so much joy on his face because now God is starting to open up doors for him and, and different opportunities for employment. I mean, it's looking like really, really good. So here's the word right now. Most of you who are watching and listening, uh, you're not gainfully employed by a church. Maybe you own a company. Maybe you work for a big company. Maybe you're a big potato. Maybe you're a small potato. But we all have stress. We all have anxiety. We all, we all have deadlines sometimes that we don't meet. Here's what I'm asking you to do. If you want that joy back in the workplace, then bring the joy of God into your life by being obedient to what he says to do. So listen to God. Listen to the Holy Spirit. God, who do you want me to reach out to today? Who do you want me to bless? Who do you want me to love? I did this just yesterday. I sat quietly for like five minutes and said, okay, Holy Spirit, who do you want me to reach out to? And he had me reach out to two different people who I haven't seen in months. And both of them were absolutely overwhelmed that I had reached out to them because they really needed that you know, that, that input at that time. So they were filled with joy, and I was filled with joy. So the bottom line is, are we connected to Jesus? Are we obedient to him? Remember the acronym for joy. Jesus first, others second, yourself third. Keep that order in line, and you will succeed in whatever God has before you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for your word. Thank you for sending out the 72 with your power and how they came back with joy because they had authority. And Heavenly Father, we have authority in your name. You have equipped us with your Holy Spirit. We have the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray that we are obedient to you with whatever you are calling us to because obedience brings true joy. And may we just manifest the joy, your joy, to spread your good name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hey, you all. It's kind of cool being here on a Thursday morning. 
And remember, we're not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory because the battle was won on the cross. You all have a great day.